beloved and intrepid viewers welcome new viewers just remember if you're a new viewer and you are in any way pro-Trump please keep surfing you're gonna hate it you're gonna hate everything about it don't say you weren't born okay I feel very blessed with this viewership for a whole range of reasons and thank you I want to also take a moment to thank you for your donations. They have helped a lot in recent times, let me assure you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So this was a request. Um, one of the viewers, Gretchen, suggested maybe Lindsey Graham wants to be the vice president. Could there be a coup, get rid of Pence? And they're going to run with Lindsey Graham. He's such a funny one, isn't he? I'm of the school of thought that Lindsey Graham is so far in the closet, if he came out the other side, he'd end up in Nebraska. I mean, really. But that's another issue. So why he went from being allied strongly with John McCain and a certain set of values now he has moved to share the same morality as Trump, which is probably the moral equivalent of a jellyfish. But why? So, Lindsay, Queen of Swords, Graham, what are you up to? Are you planning a coup? Do you really want to be that person, the VP? to the king. Let's stop calling him a president. He's got these emperor stroke pharaohs stroke kingly sort of ambitions. Where does Lindsay sit on this? Lindsay Graham, I'm giving you a change of decks again. The Japorize deck. Okay. Let's see what it has to say about Lindsey Graham and his personal plans. Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. I haven't used these for a while and they're so lovely. So a general take, oh yes, yes, it will. Hmm. Well, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. His top card, his signifier, his call for this reading is the card of war. War. He sees it as a war. So on the one hand, you could say, well, he sees it as a war of Republicans against Democrats. But as we move through the reading, we'll see what war he thinks he's fighting. Um, he harks back to the, the old days when everything was sweet. This is the card of nostalgia and innocence. Um, I don't associate a particular childlike innocence with Lindsey Graham, but he represented that um, in terms of where he comes from and refusing to come out of the closet. He represents that old style, old school, simple, when America was great again, first time round, um, which left a lot of people behind. Not everyone shared that experience, but that's past. The sun. The sun is a positive card. It bodes well for whatever you're setting out to do. There's a lot of energy in the sun card and it's straight underneath his war card. So for me, that's a yes to him going to war. I'll have to do clarifiers if it doesn't come out of its own accord. Coming further out, the Seven of Winds, the theft. 
the stealing, the crooked deals. So getting away with what you can get away with, traditionally the rip-off cards. So because he's got the sun, whatever he's doing has momentum. However, Lindsay, if you're watching, Dal, I said love, I said pet. This is not a good way to go for you, right? This is the five of wands. This is both internal conflict, but here it's the two skeletons, you know, fighting each other. Like next to the war card, there's a fight going on. There's a fight brewing. All right, okay, what I'm hearing is the Republicans are worried for obvious reasons about 2020. And if they feel they can't actually ditch Trump, which would be their better option, but maybe not as they see it, they might fiddle with the VP position. Pence brings nothing to the table. He brings the evangelical vote, um, but that is actually in real life I think it's like between 15 and 25% of the total population, not just those who vote. They have dominated the space since the Tea Party, since um, the Freedom Caucus and, you know, all these sinister organisations dressed up as patriotic organisations. They just might decide to go that way. How curious. All right, so I'm going to do clarifiers on four of the five cards. I'm not interested in the past tense because, you know what, it's past. But I want to know what war he's talking about and what, what or who he's ripping off. Okay, what's the war about? What's the war about? Oh, looking further afield. Yes. You know, looking for another ship to come in, looking for the beloved returning, but looking in terms of a more generic reading. Yeah, looking to the big picture, looking further away. Now... I want to clarify on the rip-off card, what's he stealing? If you look at this card closely, the sack has candlesticks and all sorts of things that have just been stolen. Okay, so I want to clarify on what is being stolen. What is being stolen? Oops. Oh... People's freedom and liberty, the butterfly, which is a, a lovely image of those things, he is prepared to, to actually steal these from people. Not nice. Lindsey Graham is not nice. Dear me. And... The Five of Wands, what is that conflict about? How much is in his head? How much is he fighting? Five of Wands. Uh, it's, it's about the consolation prize. In terms of is he looking to be the vice president, I'd say the answer is yes, because he'd secretly like to be the president, but he knows in his political bones he's not going to get that opportunity. So the consolation prize here would be the vice president, but it's a big consolation, and if you look here, in this 
image, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's the wreath of victory, the ring of gold, you know, he's dreaming of this victory. So he's definitely up for it. What I might do now, just quickly, is have a look at Pence. Because this means, well, two things. This means that either the party is tossing up getting rid of Pence. Oh, okay, 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 got it. I'm, I just heard, because they're afraid of impeachment, the vice president steps in and they don't think Pence is up to it. Ah. Ah. So what's the story on Pence? What's happening? Speaking of closets. Pence. Mm, he's in trouble. Uh, <laughs> things are not good for Pence. They are so not good. Okay, we have the moon. Lies and deceit. I was just talking about a jellyfish. And it's sort of got a jellyfish vibe, hasn't it, a bit? He also has the morals of a jellyfish because of the sheer hypocrisy of the lifestyle. So, lies and deceit, that could be him lying and deceiving, but it's also, I think the party is lying and deceiving Mike Pence, going, everything's fine. What's really going on is the war. It's recurred, that card. So it has to mean, if it turns up in Lindsey Graham's reading and it turns up in Pence's reading, that is a strong indicator that the war is actually about them. Thank you for making this request, Gretchen. It's turned out to be much more interesting than I would have thought. Pence has to make a decision. Pence has to make a decision. Oh, I was going to say, with the 25th Amendment, and the Yeti is such a candidate for the 25th Amendment, it's the Vice President who has to make that call. And then it's backed, I think, by two thirds of the Senate or something. But it's essentially on paper, the vice president's call. Um, Pence has been waiting, waiting, waiting to do it. But I think the GOP thinks he isn't a winner on this. But he has to make a decision. He is at a crossroads and it's not an easy decision to make for him because he's so invested in this. Oh, a cross between a bat and a snake. Well, that would describe Mike Pence. And then he gets the page of cups bringing news, news with an emotional content. Could be good news, could be bad news. I wonder which one it is. Well, let's look at the next card because it gives us a fairly big clue. The Three of Winds or the Three of Swords, heartbreak for Pence. Now, that could be Pence himself gets caught up in some legal shenanigans with the inauguration spending or some, you know, there'd be so many angles that he could get caught up in himself. But I think... I think they're going to make a play. We won't hear about it, I presume. We'll have no idea how right or wrong this is until next year, I'd say 2020. There is so much to play out, viewers. Before we leave the discussion on who the GOP are thinking of leading, don't forget Nikki Haley. I did a reading on Nikki Haley, it seems like 100 years ago, but it's probably... A year and a half. I think it was called The Girl Scout with an Uzi. 
might be worth, if anyone can be bothered going back and looking, please have a look and let me know. She is harbouring presidential ambitions. I remember that much from the reading. And I hate to say it, she'd be a really smart choice for them. She's attractive in that Sarah Palin way, but unlike Sarah Palin, she has a brain. So she's particularly dangerous. They can get around all their gender issues by going, we've got Nikki Haley as our president or vice presidential candidate. Ooh. Keep an eye on Nikki Haley. You heard it here first. She might manifest in some capacity. Okay, um, I'm going to stop there, I think, for today. So please keep the comments rolling in. I am always intrigued and fascinated by what you have to say. Thank you so much, guys. I'll be back so soon. You won't even know I'm gone. Okay. Ciao.